At this point, we've covered the general concepts to CNC programming using CAM software, and now we're ready to begin looking at each individual 2D toolpath in more detail. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the facing toolpath. Facing is usually the first machining operation performed on a part it's used to cut away excess material and finish the highest flat face of the part. If you plan on following along, open part 7.1 and save a copy of it in your working directory. To create a facing operation, we need to be on the CAM tab of the Command Manager. Then, under 2D Milling, we can select Face. The first thing we need to do is define a tool for our facing operation. So, select Library. When the library opens, you'll notice I've already saved a 1.5 inch diameter face mill inside of this part to streamline the process. So go ahead and select the face mill now and press select to assign it to our facing operation. As a note, when you're facing a part, you want to use a face mill whenever possible for all but the smallest parts. The large diameter of face mills and multiple carbide insert cutting edges provide a very high material removal rate. However, because face mills don't plunge well, we want to make sure that the toolpath starts far enough away from the part so the tool doesn't plunge into stock material. Thankfully, you will find the facing toolpath takes this into consideration. Now, with our tool selected, our speeds and feeds are set by default. If you want more information on speeds and feeds, please refer to the written portion of this training. At this point, we're going to accept our facing toolpath and allow it to be generated. Now, we can begin looking at what the facing toolpath does, and then we're going to return to the options of a facing toolpath to understand what can be adjusted. If I look down onto the top of my part, we can see the facing operation is plunging off of the part and moving back and forth across the part, similarly to how you would mow your lawn, to remove all of the material. Looking at the front of the part, the toolpath is machining down to the top face of the part. This is done by default without any geometry selected because our CAM software understands that the facing operation is typically working with the stock that we defined in our job setup. So we face all of the stock material down to the top face on the part. So that gives us an overview of what the facing toolpath does. In the next video, we're going to continue working with the same part file and look at the various options that we can change to control how this toolpath reacts.